one of the reasons that I became so passionate about human trafficking is because you never know um, what someone's going through, right? Like that you that you might see every day because someone might look like they're doing okay, but they're not. And um, that's what human trafficking looks like in a lot of ways too. Like people don't realize what it really is. But I found myself in a situation where I was living with these Africans. I, I wasn't eating regularly. I couldn't pay my rent. And so they basically coerced me into marrying their cousin for a green card. And I would have never done that had I had a stable job and, you know, had I been, a, you know, a good situation, they knew I was vulnerable, you know, and that's what trafficking is. It's just the exploitation of vulnerable people for profit. And, um, and you know, all reluctantly just kind of agreed to it. And I, I remember like this sign on the back of a bus at the time and it had like a, it was like a food bank advertisement with the hungry child and it said, when you're hungry, nothing else matters. And that's a chapter of my book too. And it's so true. Like when you're hungry, nothing matters. And it's so hard for people that grew up here that never struggle with that to realize, man, there's so much food in America. How could anybody struggle with it? But the reality is there's a lot of people here that struggle with food insufficiency. And I mean, um, I've experienced it for 15 years straight. My first 15 years in America where there was like a couple months out of the year, a couple weeks out of the year where I just wasn't eating.